Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zen4 Max Pro M1. Again, this particular video is just for the custom room user. So basically, I think there were few users who were asking, bro, is there any TWRP flashable uh, stock Android 10 based room with the version 424 available or not? So I think I was first searching for last two to three days and afterwards suddenly I found it and I thought let's create a video on that as well if someone wants to try or test it. So on my screen you are able to view that this is Android 10 based ROM again the stock based ROM with the same version number ending on 424 security patch of 5th April and so on. And apart of this, this particular ROM is being provided by its Amec, the person or a developer behind Amec projects. Although everything is same, he might have de-blotted few of the software and tried to optimize it. But again, the major bugs like sound, uh, battery drain, all are still there. So in this particular video, I won't be going to do any review because review is almost same as per the stock uh, version which was released by ASUS itself, I think 7 to 10 days ago. So he has just created a pre-decrypted ROM for the TWRP user or I would say for the custom users who can work, who can install this using. TWRP recovery. So now let's move to the downloading process and afterward we'll move to the installation one. So I have already created a dedicated article on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below so that you can go over afterward. So nothing major has been mentioned as usual. Few things like how you can download it. So few links. So again, I have told you that this has been provided by its Amec who is dealing with or uh, who is ending. Amec projects and provide us ported related to OnePlus, Nokia and so on. So the very first link is that pre-decrypted Android 10 stock ROM version 424. There is no need to flash GF separately. Just tap it here and afterward a zip file will be downloaded at your side. Apart to this Magix V20.4, this is optional although this will be needed at your side if you want to certify your device. So if you are not aware that how to certify your Google Play protection, we have already created a dedicated video in the past and we'll be providing you the same. Uh, I would say the URL for the same in the description below so that you can go over afterward. Again, few notes by the developer so you can go over again the same bugs. And a part of this, this is a change log by the developer like he has added some X, X and colors and rounded UI or a circle option. A part of this, Volti, Volti icons on, on the basis of OnePlus and you can even view these Volti icon. Volti 1 and Volti 2, these are on the basis of OnePlus. <clears throat> Apart to this, he tried to remove all the distortion, I would say, the blo uh, like bloodwares and so on. And now even he mentioned and you can flash any custom kernel which is compatible with this particular ROM. As per the notes, he mentioned that he has forcefully passed the CTS and device is certified. But, but at our side, it is not certified. So maybe whosoever will be trying if they will be able to get the device certified at the very first instance without installing, I would say, Magisk and so on. So do let us know that will surely be helpful for the, for the others. Again, free, uh, few prerequisite or pre-requirement like backup your data, charge your phone's battery to a certain 50 limit, but I recommend 80% that bootloader should be unlocked, TWRP custom recovery should be installed. Again, if you are not aware, we have already provided you helpful videos. Uh, then afterward, finally, the installation of pre-decrypted pre Android and stock ROM version 4.24 using TWRP custom recovery. So these are the steps like you have to format data, then wipe cache, Dalvik data and system vendor partition is optional. Afterward, just flash the downloaded pre-decrypted Android and stock ROM version 4.24 file. Afterward, just reboot your phone and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. This is just in case if you are facing. Otherwise, you will reboot and afterward it will resolve the error. Last but not least. Finally, enjoy the pre-decrypted Android 10 stock room version 424 on your beloved phone. Before we jump into the installation process, let me just confirm you that uh, developer option related thing. So if no, uh, if someone is not aware, although everyone would be, but again for the masses, just tap it here and afterwards 7 to 8 to time, your developer option will be available and it will be available under system. Just go there and afterwards just move to the very bottom. So according to changelog, a developer has added this circle uh, as an icon shape and a part of this few uh, X and colors as well. So you can play with this if you will be going to install this particular ROM and try or test at your side. So now we are good to go with the, uh, I would say, installation part. So let me restart my phone to the TWRP recovery mode and afterward we'll move to the installation part. 
so as i have told you that we are going to uh, boot in into the twrp recovery mode but i thought let me show you the warning related to unlock bootloader as well so that it will also confirm the users but most of the custom rom users knows that this will surely be uh, like if i am saying using twrp it will show but just for the masses who sometimes say that brother this is not possible and so on so finally we have been booted to the twrp recovery mode and this is the home screen so now let's begin with the installation part so according to blog we have to first tap on wipe afterward format data just tap yes or i would say type yes to confirm it and it will hardly take a minute to complete the formatting so it is almost done now let's go back again and again back this time you have to tap on advanced wipe and you have to select four different partitions one is dalvik cache data and system so vendor partition is optional so you can uh, select and wipe it but i am not going to do it so swipe to wipe it again a minute and it will complete its own process so we are good to go with the advanced wipe option as well now we need, we have to proceed with the installation part so for that we have to tap on install and afterward uh, like uh, we have to keep that downloaded file in uh, one of our external storage so be it usb otg pen drive or sd card so at my side it is sd card so i'm just going to select it here and i'll tap it okay afterward i'll move to the folder where i have kept it so this is that file pre decrypted asos and with the version ending 424 i'm just going to select this and so i have to confirm flash so it will take nearly about 4 to 5 minute to complete the whole process so let's wait till that time it completes so finally the installation process has been completed now we are uh, left with two option one is wipe cache dalvik or reboot system so as we have already told you that there is no need to install or flash gf separately so we are good to go with the wipe cache dalvik let me do it so that all the junk file behind this particular installation process will be completed now we are good to go with the reboot system now it will nearly about take 3 to 4 minutes to uh, initiate or i would say invoke the uh, phone setup process so let's wait till that time and afterward we'll speedify the process of setting up the phone and we'll move to the uh, home screen and we'll discuss the bare bones structure or our default structure which is being shipped with this particular phone so finally the phone setup process has been initiated or started so on the basis of mobile it has detected english india let me press on start to complete this so let me enter the credential on uh, for my uh, wifi uh, connection and afterward we'll move to the next screen so after successfully entering the wifi credential now it is checking for update so if any case there will be any pending payload or download will be available then it will install and move to the next screen so let's wait till the time it completes this part so after successfully uh, like downloading that pending payload now we have moved to the next screen so just for the video purpose i'm just going to tap on don't, don't copy but in your case if you have to download something from your google cloud then you can press the another button now again it is doing some checking info in the background and it will move to the next screen so this is a very vital part so sometime it is asking for the pin that you have set uh, before flashing this particular rom or any custom rom if you haven't set then it will ask you for the uh, like associated google account uh, with your phone so you should have uh, like you should remember this and you, as you have to enter this so let me enter this and we'll proceed further on now it is doing some final touches and afterward it might be asking for pin or pattern so let's wait till the time it completes this part but we will surely be going to skip the uh, security part for now just for the video convenience so we have already completed the setup process now it will boot to the home screen or login screen so as per as i have told you that after completing the installation process we'll uh, discuss about the bare bones structure or default app so this is the bare bones structure or i would say the default app ship with this particular rom because developer has already deblotted all the apps like facebook instagram and so on which are being shipped with the stock uh, rom version by released by the asus and a part of the same those uh four uh, uh, like four uh, columns in the quick settings and then volti action and so on so this was all from our side related to how to download and install pre decrypted android 10 based stock rom with version 424 hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks